Tired of getting banned the moment you start up your favorite game even after creating a fresh account? If you're playing Fortnite, Rust, or Call of Duty and keep getting kicked or banned for no reason, you're probably dealing with a hardware ID ban. That's when the game's anti-cheat system flags your PC's hardware, like your motherboard, drives, and network adapter, and blocks you permanently. So no matter how many accounts you make, you'll keep getting detected. The solution? You need a trusted hardware ID spoofer. A spoofer masks your real hardware IDs, tricking the game into thinking you're in a totally new setup. It's the most effective way to bypass bans without needing to buy new hardware. In this video, I'll walk you through everything from setup to staying undetected. Let's dive in. So we're going to be using something called Divine Spoofer today. This is the best hardware ID spoofer on the market currently. So head over to divinesheets.net. Link is also going to be down in the description below. And once you guys are on the website, you're going to see two different spoofer options. Now they have a permanent spoofer, which applies a permanent spoof on your PC, which lasts forever. So even if you restart your computer, the spoof is going to stay. And they also have a temporary spoofer, which is a temporary spoof on your PC, which you have to use every single time before you play. Now, in today's video, I'll be covering the permanent spoofer. This one is better by far because you can just spoof once and get rid of your hardware ID ban. But basically, here is the permanent spoofer features, undetectable in all games, supports all motherboards, and supports all Windows versions. So you guys will not be having any issues with compatibility. This spoofer is going to work for you no matter what. And as you can see, they have two different variants, the lifetime variant for 68, and they also have the one-time variant for 25. I recommend a one-time option to anyone that does not plan on cheating. You just wanna get a one-time unban and spoof your hardware ID once. And if you are a cheater, get the lifetime option because you're gonna be spoofing many times because you're gonna be getting banned a lot. Now that you guys understand which options to get, you're just gonna go ahead and press checkout. And once you guys press checkout, you're gonna see this delivery email page and where you choose your payment method. So you're gonna put in your delivery email address to where the product will be delivered to. If you put in the wrong email, it's going to be sent to the wrong person, so make sure it's correct. And you're also going to choose your payment method. For the website, they have cryptocurrency and they have debit slash credit card. If you do not see your preferred payment method, such as PayPal or Cash App, make sure to join the Discord server, which is also going to be linked in the description down below, where you guys can check out those payment methods. So now that you guys know how to buy the spoofer, let me show you how to set it up. Okay guys, so when you buy the spoofer, you're gonna be receiving your loader and your license key via email. So first go ahead and open up the license key text file. Once you have that open, highlight it and then copy it. Once you have it copied, open up the loader file and you're gonna run it as administrator. Once you run the loader as administrator, you're gonna paste in your license key, tick remember me and then press sign in. Give us a few moments to load up as well. All right guys, so we're on the spoofer menu. So from here, what you guys wanna do is enable the GPU spoofing option. If you guys are spoofing for games like 5M or GTA, then you're gonna press randomize for the seed and press confirm. Once you have that confirmed, all you have to do from here is press spoof. You're gonna select your motherboard. I have MSI, so I'm gonna be clicking that. If you have a different one, select whichever option that shows up here. And then you're gonna press spoof, which will begin. All right guys, so when the spoof is completed, you're gonna be seeing this green message that says spoof, rebreed device. So from here, close out the loader and you're gonna have to restart your PC to apply the changes which I'll be doing right now. All right, guys, so I just restarted my computer, so I'm going to be going ahead and opening up the loader file. I'm going to be running the spoofer as administrator, just like I did before. I'm going to tick remember me, and then I'm going to press sign in, which will sign me into the spoofer menu. And as you guys can see, I am on the spoofer menu, and it says you have spoof. Please unload the driver if you want to react to this page. Well, unloading the driver is going to deactivate the spoof, which we don't want to do. So we're going to head over to the device tab where we can check if all of our serial numbers have changed. And as you can see, all of my serials are green and say changed. So if you guys will even want to verify and further clarify if everything has changed correctly, you can go to the original hardware ID and the spoof hardware ID by pressing the check serials button. And as you can see, everything has spoofed correctly. So we are good to go and we can go back to playing our favorite game again without having any of those annoying error codes again. Now that you guys know how to spoof properly and where to get the best spoofer available, you're all set to get back into your favorite game fully undetected. If you're ready to purchase, just head over to the website link below and make sure you join our Discord server for updates, support, and exclusive deals. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.